dear all welcome to the class of international economics so so far we have discussed several theories and also concepts related to international economics especially international trade and in the last video we have discussed what is free trade and what is protectionism and also we have discussed the argument in favor of free trade and protectionism so when we are talking about the protectionism or protective trade policies we said that we can uh, practice the protectionism by using any of the trade barriers so it can be by using tariff barriers or non tariff barriers so these are the two important uh, trade barriers so today we are discussing only one uh, trade barrier that is tariff what is tariff and what are the different types of tariff barriers so what is the trade barriers trade barriers are the man made barriers which obstruct the free flow of goods and services across the national borders so if there are some restrictions to cross the borders for the goods and services obviously there will be some kind of trade barriers man made trade barriers so uh, i mean that trade barriers can be a tariff barrier or non tariff barriers and non tariff barriers are also known as ntbs okay so uh, today we are talking what is tariff and what are the different types of tariffs what it what is tariff the word tariff you might have heard in several occasions tariff is just just tax as any other taxes you might have heard gst you might have heard vat there are different types of taxes but it it, it is imposed upon any product which is produced in india or any country and it is also consumed in india so i mean if uh, you know uh, that product is moved from one place to another places so normally uh, taxes will be imposed or on the production the taxes might be imposed but here when we are talking about the tariff uh, the tariff is the tax on the traded commodity as it crosses the national boundary so this tax is imposed only when uh, this product crosses the national boundary okay so this is uh, you know generally tariff is discussed in international trade context so when there is a export and import then uh, there is a possibility that that uh, you know uh, the government may impose the taxes on that exports or imports so that kind of tariff uh, that kind of taxes are known as tariff and it is a most important type of trade restriction and it is also commonly used by most of the countries i mean there might be different reasons uh, you know uh, the, uh, why they are going for protectionism as we discussed earlier there might be a different arguments also why the countries are going for protectionism so they can use the tariff for for this protectionist policies okay so the uh, tariff it is a taxes on the trade commodity as it is as it crosses the national boundary so one product is moving from our country to another country then the tariff may be imposed or it is coming from another country to our country so that is import so uh, in that import also the uh, taxes can be applied or imposed that is the import tariff okay so there are different types of tariffs and it is also on different basis okay so firstly we can uh, you know classify the tariff on the basis of origin and destination from where it comes and to where it goes so here we have discussed import tariff what is import tariff if you are importing one product from abroad from foreign country to our country 
then the tax may be imposed on that product that is called import tariff so the origin is a foreign country and destination is our home country so uh, if you are uh, uh, imposing the you know taxes or the tariff on that product it is known as import tariff it is a most common uh, you know kind of tariff generally this tariff is a uh, tariff is used for import tariff so it is uh, uh, used as uh, a synonym of uh, tariff itself okay so import tariff is uh, the tax which is imposed upon the uh, commodities which is which imported from another country okay so it is a most commonly used uh, tariff and there is export tariff export tariff if you are exporting some of the goods to another country so the origin is our home country and the destination is foreign country so if the taxes are imposed on that products or commodities then it is known as export tariff but it is very rare i mean generally we are we were we are following only import tariff or impo imposing import tariff but export tariff it is prohibited in us const by the us constitution some of the countries they are not at all following the export tariff but uh, very few especially developing countries they are following this uh, export tariff also uh, suppose that uh, you know khana khana on it, their uh, cocoa it's a fruit you know that cocoa so uh, they have imposed the export tariff on that cocoa and also brazil they have imposed an uh, export tariff on coffee why they are imposing a export tariff or t what might be the reason for that because uh, i mean it, it might be uh, you know uh, that cocoa and coffee uh, th there might be high demand from their own countries so they need uh, that uh, products in their own countries so they are discouraging the exports of that commodity so they can uh, just impose some tariff on that uh, products if uh, if the if the industries are exporting or if the you know, people are exporting to another country okay uh, so uh, uh, but normally uh, in, the, in most of the developed nations they are not at all following this export tariff but they are following import tariff then there is a term called transit tariff transit tariff it is on, it is also on the basis of origin and destination so uh, one country is exporting uh, you know some of the commodities to another country okay some uh, suppose that one foreign country is exporting some of the goods but it passes through our country it crosses our border our nation's border and it goes to another country then we can impose a tariff called transit tariff transit tariff means tariff uh, on the basis of uh, you know uh, it crosses our uh, boundary that's why we are imposing a tariff on that then it is uh, known as transit tariff so the destination is a for, uh, sorry the origin is a foreign country and the destination is also another country but we are imposing a tariff on that because it crosses our boundary and it passes through our nation that's why we are imposing a tariff that's why it is called as tariff uh, sorry transit tariff tariff for the purpose of uh, transiting through our country okay so we have discussed three tariffs import tariff export tariff and transit tariff also okay uh, then uh, there is a, a tariff on the basis of quantification of tariff how we can measure the tariff how much should be imposed upon each product so on the basis of quantification there are different kinds of tariff firstly ad valorem tariff and specific tariff and compound tariff what is ad valorem tariff ad value or ad valorem tariff that name itself says what it is ad valorem tariff 
that if the tariff is uh, uh, imposed upon the value of a product, if the tax is imposed upon the value of a product, then it is an ad valorem tariff. So normally, uh, the tariff will be a fixed percentage of the value. Fixed percentage of the value or the price of the product. Suppose that we are importing a TV from abroad. We are importing a TV from foreign country. So its price is just for an example 10,000 suppose. Then we are imposing 5 percentage at valorum tariff. Then how much the government will get? Government will get 500 rupees because its price is 10,000 rupees. Okay, 10,000 rupees. Uh, 5 percentage of the 10,000 rupees, then it is 500 rupees. Then the government will be getting 500 rupees. It means that there is a fixed percentage of that value of that product or the fixed percentage of the price of that product. Now it is 5 percentage of that product. It is known as at valorum tariff but what about the specific tariff specific tariff means it is a tariff imposed per unit of commodity it is not on the basis of uh, the value of a commodity but it is based on per unit of a commodity suppose we can also fix like this we are importing one TV from abroad and it is 10,000 rupees TV but there is no any fixed percentage uh, as at valorum uh, tariff but we are imposing a tariff upon one uh, unit suppose uh, we are imposing 200 rupees per one tv it is not based on its value but it is based on physical unit okay uh, if we are importing one TV, then we need to give 200 rupees. If you are importing two TV, then we should give, uh, I mean, the, the importers uh, should give uh, uh, 400 rupees. So, the tariff which is imposed upon per unit or per physical unit of the commodity, then it is known as specific tariff. Okay, what about the compound tariff? Compound means combination of both ad valorem tariff and also specific tariff. We can uh, take the same example. Combination of both ad valorem and specific tariff. We are importing TV, then we said that a fixed percentage we should give as ad valorem tariff. Like, suppose 5 percentage. Then, uh, you know, the importers should give uh, 500 rupees to the government again uh, the specific tax also imposed then 200 rupees per unit that also should be added then 500 plus 200 both uh, at valorum and specific tariff added combining i mean by combining both the you know at valorum and specific then we can say that it is a compound tariff so, on the basis of quantification, we can divide into three ad valorem tariff, specific tariff and compound tariff. Ad valorem is on the value uh, on the value of a commodity, then specific means for, per fiscal unit, then compound tariff, it is a combination of both ad valorem and specific tariff. Okay, so uh, I mean normally uh, United States, they are following ad valorem and also a specific, ta a specific tariff. They are uh, following both the uh, tariff policies. Okay, but European countries normally they are following ad valorem tariff. And norm uh, this uh, tariff itself, uh, I mean the people were or the nations were uh, uh, adopting tariff policies, but after the second world war, uh, the tariff policies has changed and the, and the nations started uh, imposing less tariff compared to the previous time. So the tariff policy has changed and the nations started uh, imposing less tariff after the second world war. And when we are uh, comparing developed nations and developing nations, 
uh, the tariffs are very less in uh, developed nations but it is higher in developing nations we will see the you know its data also then there is another uh, tariff that is uh, a sliding scale tariff what is a sliding scale tariff so uh, it i mean it's depends up, uh, it depends and vary with the prices whether uh, i mean uh, one country should go to the uh, should go with advalorum or specific it depends upon the prices suppose if the price is very high then uh, you know uh, the country can go with advalorum tariff if the price is less then the country can decide uh, to give a specific tariff so if the tariff policy is changed according to the prices of the commodity that kind of tariffs are known as sliding scale tariffs okay so if the uh, you know tariff policy itself changes according to the prices according to the changes in the prices then it is known as sliding scale tariff so here uh, we, i mean uh, the data for the uh, you know uh, uh, data of tariff is given for non agricultural products in united states and european union japan and canada in 2010 as percentage okay so we can just make a comparison with other uh, you know developing nations also uh, so uh, the united states there are different uh, products like fish and fish products and minerals or petroleum chemicals wood paper textiles clothing and all so how much percentage of ad valorem tariff they are imposing in the united states one percentage for fish then 1.7 percentage for minerals and uh, metals then uh, for petroleum 1.4 percentage like that uh, you know clothing 11.7 percentage it is highest in us then european union also same data we can you can see they are also the highest uh, they are imposing tax on clothing 11.5 and japan also at the highest uh, tax is uh, 9.2 percentage for clothing then finally canada also they are imposing clothing 16.9 percentage so uh, it is the highest i think in this so this is the different ra even rates of uh, you know tariffs in uh you uh, united states and european union and japan and canada but when we are uh, taking uh, the countries like developing nations like china india brazil russia korea and mexico so uh, they are also following uh, you know different uh, tax system or tariff system but it is high compared to the you know previous nations you can see that uh, we, we can we can make a comparison of clothing in china that a tariff on clothing is 16 percentage then in india it is a 13 percentage then in brazil it is 35 percentage russia it is 11 uh, percentage then korea 12 percentage mexico it is uh, 30 percentage so uh, compared to the us and other european countries i mean india china brazil russia korea Uh, are imposing high tariff i mean uh, for the, uh, for different products so i am making only comparison of one product but you know you can make a compare detailed comparison and also there are uh, tariffs with reference to purpose they serve okay uh, there, i mean there are two types of uh, you know tariff in this category protective tariff and also revenue tariff okay protective tariff means uh, if the purpose of uh, if, if the purpose of a government is to protect the domestic industries from a uh, competition from the foreign companies then the tax is imposed for the protection purpose of our domestic industries that kind of tax is known as protective tariff okay so we already discussed that the, you know the protective policies are uh, especially meant for the protection of our domestic industries so if we are imposing the tariff for the same purpose then it is known as protective tariff 
and it may be a high tariff because if you're imposing high tariff normally they sh they need to give uh, you know high uh, you know uh, uh, high taxes to the government then the price uh, for a uh, price of the foreign product also will be high then the domestic industries uh, they can uh, compete uh, with the foreign countries there won't be much i mean the domestic industry will be getting uh, much protection from the foreign companies okay so if the aim of the tariff is to protect the domestic industries then that tax is uh, that tariff is known as protective tariff normally this tariff will be high okay but here uh, if uh, the objective is not protection of domestic industries but it is to earn more revenue to the government that can also be an another objectives so if the uh, uh, aim of the government is to raise the maximum revenue through the tariff then that tariff is known as revenue tariff but normally the rate of this tariff will be low because government won't uh, increase i mean government won't impose high uh, you know revenue tariff okay so uh, this is uh, the base uh, the classification on the basis of the purpose they serve if the purpose is protection then it is protective tariff if the purpose is revenue then it is revenue tariff then there is a tariff with respect to its application or discrimination between countries okay there might be discrimination between in between uh, the countries one country may uh, you know follow non discriminatory tariff to the all, with the all the nations one country is following non discriminatory tariff policies with the all the countries then it is known as single column tariff okay single column tariff i mean the peculiarity or the feature of this tariff will be the uh, tax rate or the tariff rate will be same to the all the countries if i am uh, if we are importing from china if we are importing from bangladesh or if we are imp importing from uk if we are adopting same uh, tariff rate to the all the nations then it is single column tariff it might be determined by the law okay but if we are adopting a discriminatory tariff if one country is following a discriminatory tariff then it is known as double column tariff or triple column tariff double column tariff means there will be two tariff policies one might be general tariff and another might be conventional tariff general might be uh, you know decided by the law and it might be applicable to the most of the countries but uh, you know there might be some favored nation okay some uh, nations which are special so there might be some treaties with these nations so uh, there might be different uh, tariff rate for them then it is known as conventional okay or it might be decided by the treaties but one is decided by the law and another is decided by the treaty okay and also there might be chance of uh, you know uh, imposing maximum tax to some countries and minimum tax to another countries so this is also the example of double column tariff or discriminatory tariff and there is a possibility of triple column tariff three tariff rates first one is general common for most of the countries then intermediate means uh, there is a, a you know a little, a little relaxation uh, with the, some of the favored nations then the preferential you know some countries might be preferred to another countries and there might be some uh, you know a regional uh, association or regional uh, integration with some of the countries and they, they uh, i mean the one country can give some kind of preference to some uh, other countries so uh, there will be three uh, tax rate or tariff rates general intermediate and preferential mostly this preferential uh, you can see in with the mother countries and colonies if you are taking the example of india india and britain has a preferential trade agreement okay so the tariff also might will be less compared to another countries okay so here triple column tariff is also discriminatory tariff but there will be th three tariff system here 
one is general and another one is intermediate and a third one is preferential okay and uh, you know tariff also can be divided on the basis of retaliation retaliation means it's just like a revenge okay uh, retaliatory tariff so there are two countries suppose one country started imposing uh, tariff on the pro, uh, on the import of on the import from another country so one country started tariff then obviously this country also will start imposing the tariff uh, for this country okay so this is like a, a retaliation it's like a revenge so if one country is started imposing tariff another country also start uh, will be starting uh, tariff policies against this country okay so this is like a retaliatory tariff or it's it's just like a, you know revenge policy and other countries are following this policy so th we, that's why we are also uh, following this policy okay so this kind of retaliatory tariffs are there on the basis of retaliation then countervailing tariff it is not like a revenge one country they are giving some kind of subsidies for their products if uh, you know their industries are exporting some of the goods they can give some subsidies for the products okay so it uh, i mean it is uh, basically to uh, protect them from the foreign uh, in companies giving some kind of subsidies for them but if they are exporting so the price might be uh, less in the foreign country so to countervail this uh, you know subsidies of another government another country can impose some kind of tariffs upon that products so it is known as countervailing tariffs here the difference is one country is giving some subsidy to overcome this uh, you know subsidies okay to break the you know subsidies or break the advantage uh, you know which foreign countries are uh, use getting so uh, yeah, another country can impose some kind of tariff policies that is known as countervailing tariffs the first one retaliatory uh, was on the basis of uh, revenge but here it is not on the basis of revenge but it is uh, on the basis of uh, subsidy so uh, uh, one country is giving subsidy to overcome that subsidy or to countervail that subsidy another country is imposing some tariffs then it is known as a countervailing tariffs or countervailing duties okay then these are the different types of tariffs uh, i think uh, this will be available in rana and varma you can check it and dominic salvator also you will get uh, some kind of interesting tables which explains what are the different uh, tariff rates of different countries uh, i hope this is clear for you uh, thank you all thank you for listening